The safety discipline has a history of learning from the past and ensuring we don't forget those lessons. Sure, safety is built into our name, but every one of us at the Kennedy Space Center has the same responsibility. At NASA, our goals are daring and inherently risky. Sending humans to other planets means we're going to have to take some risks. We all need to ask ourselves, how do I balance risk and ensure mission success? Okay, so on the mobile launcher here, we have uh, dozens of high-pressure gas panels. They service the cryogenic systems, environmental life support systems, and other facility systems. And on these panels and between the panels, we have uh, literally thousands of, of tube assemblies. Uh, right now, we're going through our design certification process, and mm -hmm. part of that process is to certify the pressure system. So when we do this pressure system certification, we work very closely with SNMA, particularly the pressure systems manager's office. Uh, we engineering prepares certification reports. We submit it to the, the pressure systems manager's office for review. They provide feedback to us and ultimately uh, give us a final okay to certify the system. Uh, so while we were going through this process, we started submitting reports to the pressure systems manager's office and they came back with some feedback for us about uh, the, the vibration loads and the vibration analysis on, on tubing and mobile launcher. What we were seeing was these panels, even though they're shuttle heritage and they did survive shuttle launch loads, with the SLS rocket, we would have higher vibration loads going into these panels. So we wanted to ensure that we wouldn't be exceeding the allowable stresses that um, are in our PVS codes and standards that we have to sign off the certification saying that these panels meet. So what we were thinking, the way to do this accurately would be to do a, a full finite element analysis. And since all these panels are unique, to pull that off would be an extensive amount of effort based on our analysis guys through engineering. It would take months, if not years, to do it all properly. And the overall benefit was probably low since we had confidence that these panels could survive a launch. We just didn't have the objective evidence to, to make that claim. We worked really closely and we, we came up with basically about half a dozen different geometries mm -hmm. can pretty accurately define all the tube assemblies we have in the mobile launcher. So our analysis group did, did analysis on some worst case scenarios using, using those different geometries mm -hmm. to make sure that all of the supports that we already had installed and all of our, our tube routing was, um, was safe to operate and would, would survive the, the vibration loads during an SLS launch. Right. This analysis was much more truncated than what it would have been required, but it did capture worst case scenario. Um, the outcome of the analysis, we did have to add supports along some of the tubing runs because we found that they were unsupported, that stresses in certain areas would exceed allowables. But it was very minor compared to what the overall impact could have been to the schedule and cost to get us um, to where we're comfortable with using these panels with the SLS rocket causing the vibration on the ML. Right, and this saved, this saved the engineering team a great deal of time. Um, right, we, yeah. we were looking at a, a, an enormous analysis task that we were able to, to generalize and, and do on a much smaller scale. Uh, it was really helpful for us, and it also standardized the process that we use, mm -hmm. and we are able to develop a standard now that we can then use for future equipment, too. Mm -hmm. That's right. Although we're pursuing our exploration goals as a team, it's critically important that we each take ownership of our own unique role. Competence and credibility are the keys to success. Know what matters. Look out for your teammates, serve your customers, and remember who the stakeholders are. Never lose sight of why we're balancing risk and safety. Safety and Mission Assurance, helping you manage risk to make the impossible possible.